Hi Atari friends, I would like to demonstrate to you the 1050 drive upgraded with the Mega Speedy interface. Let's power on the interface and boot the computer with no disk inside. As you can see, it goes immediately to the Mega Speedy menu from within the drive. The Mega Speedy can emulate 10 different drives a Mega Speedy, a Speedy, a Happy 1050, US Doubler, Super Archiver, Super Speedy. It can also be operated as an original 1050 drive, 1050 Turbo, 1050 Duplicator, Super Max. The hardware inside when selected to the right mode can emulate the, the different board and the ROM that comes with it. Let's put a, a standard DOS disk inside and let's boot the computer. You can see how fast it works, how fast it uh, boots into DOS, much faster than the original uh, or non-upgrade disk drive. If I'm going to boot the computer again to the speedy menu and select the small micro DOS, I can put here a DOS disk or a DOS formatted uh, floppy it will show me different files that's inside and we'll put them immediately so we don't have to run DOS, just a, a very quick loader for DOS files if I'm going to put in, into the drive a non-formatted disk or a, a bad disk if this is a non-formatted or a bad disk that goes inside the drive immediately scan the first three tracks, it will beep and it will show me on the LED the letters NF, non-formatted, so I can uh, see that it's a bad disk or non-formatted disk and I don't have to power off and power on the computer every time I'm running into a bad disk. The different Drive emulation can be selected from a menu or from the rotated switch. I'm going to select the speedy option. I have an, a, another option to select one of four slots. That's because the speedy enhancement came in different variation with different ROMs inside. It came with a built-in DOS or with a built-in sector copier or with another utility and the drive can emulate all of those options by selecting the first slot the drive will boot to the right emulation and again the speedy without a floppy inside when it's booted it goes directly into uh, the Bibo DOS, the uh, speedy DOS if I'm going to boot the computer again, if I, even if I'm going to power the drive and power it on, power it off and power it on again, the selected mode still remains. If I want to go back to the Mega Speedy, to the first menu, I need to push the reset button, select the mode, and now I'm going to boot back into the Mega Speedy menu. Select the speedy, slot number two. It will boot into a speedy variation with a sector copier ROM inside. I can put here the DOS diskette. If I want to copy it. See how fast it can copy floppies and make uh, duplicated floppies very quickly. Skip blank tracks.
Let's go back into the Mega Speedy menu. Push the reset button. And power off and on the computer. I can select to go to another mode from here or I can do it directly from with the rotating switch. I'm gonna choose a super archiver. Put a super archiver floppy. It will boot into, it will basically just switch on the drive. If I have the software, I can just run the Super Archiver software. The Super Archiver uh, supporting uh, ultra speed SKUs like the US Doubler, but it doesn't do any truck buffering. Instead, it can control the drive mechanism in a way that you can. Uh, in a way that you can read and copy protected uh, floppies, protected diskettes, uh, including the electronic art protected uh, floppies. And those copies can work, they can then work on a standard disk drive even without any enhancement on. The Super Archiver can detect and read duplicated sectors, uh, fuzzy or phantom sectors, short sectors. Uh, and so on. Right now this is a standard floppy with no protection so you don't see anything, you just see the standard tracks at uh, sectors arrangement. Let's go back to the menu. Again every time I want to switch to the main menu I have to go and, and switch the emulation mode because if I switch off and on the drive it will keep maintain the last selected emulation So that's it. Uh, the Mega Speedy um, was uh, developed by Gus Ausman and Matthias Reichel from uh, Europe. Um, it was sold through the German uh, Abuk Club. And that's it. So that's the Mega Speedy. Thank you for watching.